Hello everyone, it is Janelle Stewart here from Parents Making an Investment. And today I would like to enlighten you from something that I was enlightened with. And I title it, Passing the Baton. Now we all have been brought up on values, right? Values that we deem as important and that we also want to pass on to our children. And we want them to recognize these things as important and also to let it be a part of bringing up our children, a part of our life and make it a part of their life. And so what was enlightened to me is the perspective of passing the baton because in pa passing on those things that we deem as important we there's a questioning part to it and it is kind of like a little thin line and so what was brought to my attention is that um in passing this baton the, there's a big question in it and so even though we were brought up this way we were taught and we see the importance of it. We saw what it did for us. We saw how it shaped us. It, we saw how it made us who we are in some aspect of the word. It also showed us um, pretty much how to channel through parenthood. And even though we might not have all the values from, and we did not bring them or even instill them and impart them to bringing up our kids um, and parenting, but there I'm sure is one or two that you feel that is important to pass on and that you want your child or children to pass on to their children. But in the midst of it, the thin line here that I want us to remember is who will the value benefit? See, it benefit us and it helped us to be where we are and to have the mindset that we have. But in all of that, um, all of that reality, qu the question is that we need to ask ourselves too is, will this benefit my child? And will my child see this as important? And here's the answer to that, parents. Like, what I'm realizing that I'm experiencing with my kids, they don't see it as important. They don't see the value in why we need to do this, why we need to go, why we need to, you know, um, visit and have our be with our family and do this, you know, ritual all the time. They don't see the importance of that. And should we say to them, well, why is it? I was brought up this way, and so then it, this is important. Well, what they deem is important is important too. And um, in a sense, the thin line here is we can also, we have to be very careful because we had a moment and we had a childhood and we had the opportunity to experience exactly the value that that we are trying to impart to them. And so therefore, we've been there already. But now it's time to, it's okay. It's okay to talk to our kids about what we did when we were little, what we did in our family, what made our family important to us, what brought our family together what kept our family connected. All those things are important to share with our kids. They need to know the history. They need to know where they're coming from. And part of that, sharing that information is sharing with them where they're coming from. But on the other side of passing the baton is also recognizing what is important to our children. Is that value that I have, is it important to my child? What is important to my seven-year-old? What's important to my 10-year-old? That's what they value. 
And it might not be what I value as a parent, but here's the thing, this is their childhood. They are living their childhood. And so therefore we want to be able to allow them to pass on the baton because guess what's gonna happen? The flip side is we'll pass on what we value and we never recognize what they value. And so guess what gets passed on? What will get passed on is they will remember those things that they didn't value and say, I don't want to do that. And I'm going to shift it. And I want to, and they will see it as a discredit to us for us exposing them. And then they don't want to pass that on and they don't see any value in it. They don't see any worth in it whatsoever. Because why? We did not see what was important to them and nurture that so that they in turn see that as the value and the reason to pass that on. And so today parents, this is what my enlightenment moment is and this is what I wanna share with you. Allow your kids to show you what's important to them and allow opportunities to nurture that, whether it be watching movies together, as simple as that, whether it be sharing a good book whether it be late night talks, whether it be them just t sh t um, sharing with us something that they learn, something that they discover, as small and as minute as that sounds and unimportant sometimes to us in our busy life of parenthood, it is important to our kids. They will remember what's of value to them more so than what is of value to us. They will pass on the baton of what is of value to them. The question is, are we passing on the baton in such a way that is strengthening and developing what's of value to them? Because really in at the end all and be all, that's how we pass on the baton. It's also what is of value to them. So that way in turn, they can pass on what's of value to them, to their kids and teach them to allow their children to be open and also to share what's of importance to them. So that cycle can continue but not the cycle of those things that we despised in childhood. And yes, I'm sure I have some moments like that. I know you have some moments like that. Those things that we remember that we did and we don't want to redo, but we talk about it. But at the same time, what are those things that your children see now as being important for them? and highlight those things and continue to nurture those things and to pass it on. And the reason why I'm stressing this today is because I experienced with my first child, not doing that, not capitalizing, not honing in and not seeing the value of the time that he just wanted to just be with just me. And so there were times that I didn't see the importance of this. And there were also side effects to that, domino effects to that. And those moments I cannot get back as a single parent. And now that I'm married with three other kids, I can't get those moments back. But what I can do is change the method and the way in which I choose as a parent to pass on the baton. And I'm saying the same thing to you today, that there are moments that you wish that didn't happen between you and your children, and you can't unrace it, you can't undo it. But what you can do is start today by deeming those things that are important to your children today and making sure that you recognize it and also teach them how to value that. Because that is the way in which 
to pass on the baton so then they can also recognize those values when it comes to their kids. And I know we're not thinking of our kids being parents, but see, this is where the investment part come in. Today's parenting for our children tomorrow. It's not just doing this for here and now, but it's doing this for them to become that independent, self-directed, strong, resilient adult that we want them to be thriving and not just thrive, striving through society. So I hope this enlightenment um, helps you today and comment below, share, and also if you are asking the question, well, how do I pay attention to that? How do I recognize it? Hey, I'm here. You can just comment below and I can help you and we can work together on this journey called parenting and therefore so your children can be successful and also pass on the baton. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe and like and to share this video. Once again, comment below.